direct lecture exclusive video as we are promoting these days that we are uh, exclusively making videos also for our paid learners. So this video is for our paid learners, especially our KBS PGT group, our English foundation group and our Abhyasi series mainly, which I am teaching in Abhyasi series. It's an acronym for basically a basic orientation for our English academic English course right and uh, this series is uh, recently launched and still admissions are on you can call it this number and can get my free demo class all right in that uh, class you can just analyze and all of you uh, know whatever little we have given the results in terms of our english performances at kj so guys uh, don't wait and uh, join us as soon as possible and uh, be on the list of the successful candidates. So uh, now uh, without any further delay, I'm going to look at some very important questions on report writing. And this is yes, useful for all uh, English board exams. Uh, we know that this is February and uh, the Mar uh, March, both the months we are going to have the high school inter exams. So this video is going to be very important for them. And also, especially for our KBS PGT group, who are going to face their exam soon. So all the best to all the uh, bodies and all the uh, PGT students. And let's uh, now get into the question series. Okay, this is report writing MCQ. So the first question is the word uh, this uh, is derived. The word report has been derived from which um, field? So the answer to this question is C. It is derived from a Latin word reportare, which means to carry back. All right. Next question. Summaries of report may be delivered, DE, may be delivered uh, orally in the form of written documents, both A and B, mail and postal services. So the answer would be, uh, it should be, it can be delivered orally or in the form of written documents. It should not be delivered in the form of mail and postal services, right? So we are talking about summaries. We are not talking about the report itself. So we have to look at the question also very carefully while attempting such theoretical questions. So report is defined as, so a very interesting question, interesting tale, process of data, document that present information for specific audience in a format, yeah, all of the above. So the answer would be C, it is a document that presents information, number one, for a specific audience, number two, these are features of report also, and in a particular format, this is number three. So we can say IAF, right? Information, audience, and format. These are the three keywords of report. You can just make a code of it. Moving on. Next question is, which of the following is correct, right? So uh, the correct answer is, it is a formal document written for a specific audience to meet a specific need. Right. Next question, a report may be used for, so reading or maybe hearing or both A and B or none of these. So answer would be, it can be used for reading. That means for uh, for knowing something or for understanding and for hearing also that can be used. Which of these is not a parameter of a report? So guys, this is a very important in uh, you know um, question. So information, extent of information, quality of information, age of writers, and ability to acquire information. So we can very easily guess that A, B, and D are the questions which are. Uh, obviously correct so which is uh, but in they have question they have asked not so it will be a sorry c right? sorry age of writer is not a parameter of forming a good report v us and r are examples of contractions pronoun usage name usage or noun so we know that v us and r are example of pronoun usage right so these are all example of pronouns if we go deep we know that v is uh, first person plural first person plural nominative case right i'm writing in short us is uh, again object of v so it's first person plural but object and r is again possessive adjective now this is where the confusion lies please pay attention Possessive adjective and possessive pronoun. These are two different cattle fish, okay? So possessive pronoun are those generally at the end of which S is added. So uh, it's ours is possessive pronoun. Yours is possessive pronoun, right? In I and mine, mine is possessive pronoun. And possessive adjectives are those which are used as 
adjectives although they are listed sometimes under pronoun category but they are not pronouns so the example would be my uh, my okay and again our or your all these are examples of possessive adjectives so r is given here so it's an example of possessive adjective you may also uh, <clears throat> find it as uh, one hint uh, is after possessive adjectives, generally a noun is followed. So you will say my house, our house, your house. But after possessive pronoun, obviously because they are pronouns which actually uh, replaces noun. So there is no noun after them. And generally they, after possessive adjectives, the nouns are used, right? So let's look at, look at the next question. Uh, question number eight. A good report discusses. What does a good report discusses or discuss rather? So the answer is both A and B, the topic in depth, and it contains recommendations or you can say conclusions. Okay. So next question, which of the following statements about report is accurate? Very important. Which of the following statements about report is accurate? So what would be the answer? Complete and compact document. A report does not encourage participation, right? It keeps you on track. It's not necessary. Allow speakers to prepare. No, it is complete and compact document, right? So the objective, the purpose of report is, so this is again a very important question. The answer is all of the above. That means to document schedules, timetables, to document current status, to record or clarify complex information for future references. Okay, so you can see here that in this video, what we have tried to do, we have just tried to collect the questions. All these are miscellaneous facts, but they are presented in terms of question. So the questions may not be exactly that difficult, but at the same time, these questions are important in terms of your clearing your basics of report writing. So uh, which is not the purpose of report. Now, this one is important. To present a record, to record an experiment, to record research finding, or description of the description spelling mistakes and description of the purpose so which of the following is not the objective or purpose of report so obviously description of the purpose is not needed what are the other objectives you can just note record of accomplished work accomplished means completed work record an experiment yes and to record research finding the objective of report is again a very important question so the answer would be all of the above to present information to recommend action to record an experiment right so let's move on to the next question guys question number 13 uh, type of report is dash right so question number 13 the answer is d so newspaper reports annual reports laboratory reports all are there so answer would be d reports uh, reports uh, con convey uh, information answers question and dash so the answer would be solve problems okay Reports are generally for solving problems. Please do uh, make it, this as a very important. They are not for presenting your opinions and they are also not for complying with government regulations. Not necessary, but they are there as a problem solver. Which of the following is a type of report? Okay. So again, all of these formal, informal, we know information, analytical report, proposal reports, all of these are there. Which of these is not a report? Now, this question is important. So, which of the following is not a report? Okay. So, the answer is social report. There is no such word as social report. Progress reports are there. Work reports are there. And factory reports are also there to mention the uh, things that are happening in the factory in terms of data. On the basis of format, report can be written in how many formats? So, again, all of the above. Memo format, letter format, simple format, and full format report. Okay, so all these are there. Which of the following may be a type of report? So the answer would be, again, all short and long report, vertical and lateral report, internal or external report. So these are all different types uh, of reports, right? So it's a very interesting one. So let's look at the next question. Question number 19, which type of report takes less time in writing? Uh, Printed form, letter, memo, manuscript. Pre-printed. So Pre-printed form, letter, memo, manuscript. So obviously pre-printed form. Letter you have to write, memo you have to write, manuscript. Uh, jo hai, wo original kisi 
की जो ओरिजिनल जिसे हम हिंदी में पांडुलिपि कहते हैं उसको कहते हैं मैनुस्क्रिप्ट सो वो होगा नहीं रिपोर्ट्स इन लेटर फॉर्म में कंटेन अगेन इट मे कंटेन ऑल द अब दैट इज बॉडी ऑफ द ऐसे बॉडी ऑफ द लेटर एंड कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री क्लोजिंग सिग्नेचर सो ऑल ऑफ द अब विल बी इंक्लूडेड इन द रिपोर्ट एंड रिपोर्ट इन लेटर फॉर्म इंक्लूड ऑल द थिंग्स दैट इज सेल्यूटेशन एस ए एल यू सेल्यूटेशन डेट एंड एड्रेस हेडिंग ऑल थिंग्स आर देयर सो विद दिस वी कम टू द बेसिक इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट रिपोर्ट थैंक यू ऑल एंड कीप वर्किंग हार्ड फॉर योर गोल माई बेस्ट विशेज आर ऑलवेज विद यू सी यू इन माई नेक्स्ट लेक्चर थैंक यू